Hey guys, Levelcap here. Today I want to do a computer update video. I've made some pretty cool hardware changes since my last office tour or my last uh, computer show off video and I'm pretty proud of the way that I've connected my two PCs together for streaming and recording. The thing is, I have some pretty high-end requirements when it comes to recording and streaming. What I would like to do is be able to record my gameplay without an overlay cam on it and separate my audio into three different stereo channels. That's fine and easy to do with OBS and a few little bits of hardware. But what I also want to do is simultaneously stream off of a second PC with the same three stereo channels to mix with and a camera overlay, plus feeding back Twitch Alerts audio to my recording PC. Sounds complicated? Well, it would be if I didn't have some really cool hardware that I want to talk about now. The first chunk of hardware that I want to talk about, which is brand new, is the 4K60 Pro Elgato Capture Card. This is a $400 capture card. It's for high-end capturing of gameplay or other video feeds. It can capture either 4K footage at 60 FPS or it can capture 1440p footage at 144 hertz or 144 fps. It can also capture 1080p and anything below that, but basically this is a high-end capture card and it allows me to clone my gaming monitor with the capture card, basically allowing me to send my video feed over to one computer with zero delay and zero performance hit on my gaming PC. This is a big deal. Getting a zero performance hit transfer of video from one PC to another is not always the easiest thing to do. It can be done with several other programs out there, but this is the slickest way to do it and sort of causes the least amount of interference with other programs. It also bypasses any of the difficulties you might have with recording software. DX Tori, Shadowplay, OBS occasionally have issues reading whatever game you might be playing. This doesn't care about any of that. If the game shows up on my monitor, then it's going to show up on the capture card. Now the second part of this equation is getting audio from my gaming PC to my streaming PC. Again, I like to have three different stereo channels to record on and mix separately when I'm editing. And likewise, when I'm streaming, I like to have all three of those stereo channels independent of each other so that I can adjust the volume for the stream. This is high-end requirements and it's not easy to do with analog hardware. I used to have an analog mixer, a couple of different sound cards, multiple different ways of getting audio out of my PC into a mixer over to the streaming PC. It was complicated as all heck. I had to have lots of labels and diagrams just to figure out how it worked. And then I decided to upgrade to a purely digital system, which is amazing. I've got my RME Babyface Pro, which I've had for a few years now, but I recently upgraded that system to incorporate an RME Digiface USB. And what the Digiface does, it allows me to take in some optical ADAT cables. That's the only kind of input and output it allows. There's no other kinds of jacks or plugs in this device aside from USB going to the computer. It's only ADAT. And what I can do now is I can send uh, basically up to eight channels out of my RME Babyface Pro over to the Digiface USB and decipher them and mix them however I want. So I can have those as separate audio devices on my gaming PC, send them over on one cable to the Digiface and break them down into their own individual devices on my streaming PC. Then I can send an audio channel or however many audio channels I would like from my streaming PC back to my gaming PC. What I use this for is uh, listening to my Streamlabs or Twitch Alerts sound effects while I'm streaming and it allows me to hear that but not mix it into my recording sound at all. So I can basically hear whatever I need to from my streaming PC without incorporating that on the recording. And all it takes are two cables transferring between my PC. This is a really high-end setup. I don't know anybody else who's been using ADAT. I had to kind of research it on my own, basically on my quest to find the ultimate solution for this knowing that there had to be some sort of solution for high-end digital audio transfer of multiple audio channels, and ADAT seemed to be the way to go. Now, it's not cheap. It's 
actually quite expensive. RME is not the only company that makes this kind of hardware, but it's been a company that I've been using for several years already. So I just decided to invest in another piece of RME hardware. Their software is solid. They've got a great digital mixer interface called Total Mix FX and it allows me to look at all the different inputs and outputs on my computer and set up as many digital devices on either PC as I want. I've literally never had any crashes or any issues with their software. It's been kind of amazing. Now, there are many other ways of doing similar setups to what I have here. In fact, you can do this completely through software that transfers both video and audio feeds over the network. You will, however, hit more of a performance bump on your gaming PC. And frankly, I had a bunch of issues with the software when testing out this method. It's not to say it never worked, but I just didn't like the hiccups or the issues that came with it. And I thought that a full hardware, a full RME setup would be a much better route for me to go. And I gotta say, I have no regrets. Now, I'm also using a cam link so that I can actually just use whatever camcorder I have on hand as a webcam. I don't know if this really makes a huge difference for my personal needs, but I do have a fairly nice Canon camcorder that uh, I use to record this video, for example, and I've got that mounted on a Manfrotto articulating arm, which is then attached to my rig up here. So that's sort of a new addition to the streaming setup, and it allows me to just stream with a higher quality camera or whichever camera I would like. Now, for those of you who have not seen my rig that surrounds my desk here, this basically is what's known as a truss system. They use them in like uh, the music industry or media industry to set up quick lighting and video setups um, on the go. Well, I found that it was the perfect solution to put on top of my desk to get the speakers off of the desk, free up some desk space, um, mount LED lights, mount cameras, and route wiring however I want it. It's been a really cool upgrade. Um, I've done a video on it in the past, and I'll put a link to that if you guys want a little bit more in-depth look at this hardware. Now, the reason why I mounted the truss system on the desk itself is because I have a sit-stand desk, so I need everything to move with me if I go from a sitting position to a standing position. This is because standing up is really good for your back if you're if you're working at a desk all day or just alternating between sitting and standing is really helpful in general. It can help reduce fatigue, it can help reduce back pain and increase circulation and help your heart muscles. So there's a lot of benefits to it and if you have the means to get some sort of sit stand setup, I would highly recommend it. The desk I have is from Uplift. Now, I think I have a new microphone or a different microphone rather than the last time I did an office review. This is the Shure SM7B. It's a very popular XLR microphone. Um, a lot of people are using it right now. A lot of YouTubers are using it. And I switched over to it because I was having some problems with my RE20, uh, a lot of static and problems with that. So I switched over and it's fixed everything. Um, I also upgraded my mouse since the last Office video. This is the Logitech G900, and what's cool about this guy is that I can unplug the USB cable and turn it into a wireless mouse. And you might be thinking, level, I thought wireless mice were for noobs. The input delay was too long, and it made it so that you basically had a slower reaction time than a wired mouse. That was the case basically until Logitech came out with this mouse, which actually has not only just as fast input time uh, as many mice out there, but probably faster than most mice, which is really freaking impressive. So Logitech figured out the equation. They somehow figured out how to make a wireless mouse just as fast as a wired mouse. And I gotta say, going wireless is awesome. It's I actually get annoyed now <laughs> when I'm playing on a wired mouse at like a game event or something. I'm like, ugh. This is so archaic, I can't stand it. I need my wireless high-end Logitech. Anyway, I love the mouse, I think it's a great upgrade. Slight update to the Razer keyboard, basically same sort of Black Widow tournament edition thing. I think this is just sort of a chroma update. The USB connectivity on my old one started to go out and I still really like the keyboard, so I just decided to invest in a more updated Razer keyboard. 
Now I believe I have shown off my three Acer 1440p 144Hz IPS displays before, but maybe not in depth or maybe just not enough. Uh, they're certainly one of my favorite upgrades. They look awesome. I love that I can set them up right next to each other and extend my desktop display. Um, I have basically as much desktop space as I need. And the one on the right, I can just uh, hit a button on the monitor and switch it over to my streaming PC whenever I need to stream. So basically I'm using all three monitors all the time. And then when I stream, I just switch one over for the streaming PC. It's awesome. It's great. I highly recommend getting as much desktop space uh, as you possibly can if you do work at a computer all day. Now, there's a lot of other little components and little doodads here and there that you guys might have questions about. Feel free to ask me in the comment section of the video. I'm also going to do my best to list out all the hardware components in this video in the video description. So if you see something here and you're like, oh, what's his armrest that he's using? Well, that should be linked in the video description. These will be Amazon affiliate links. If you want to help support my channel, uh, go ahead and buy the hardware through my Amazon affiliate link and it will give me a small kickback. As always guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this streaming setup video helps some of you guys out there. And for the rest of you, I hope you just found it interesting. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.